effect on the physical and chemical properties of the soil. The soil profile and laboratory results confirm that both soils are glycols, with the same pedogenetic origin, Table 1, but the contamination had abnormalities in their chemical characteristics, Table 2, the which have been reported in other studies undertaken in the southeast, Table 3. Study Zone Chemical properties and concentration of TPH in the soils studied. pH 1 to 2, potentiometry, organic matter, Walkley and Black, P and K, extraction with 1 in ammonium acetate pH 7 and quantification by atomic absorption and emission, SEC, cation exchange capacity, extraction with 1 in ammonium acetate and quantification by distillation and titration, texture, glucose. Control soil. Soil with weathered oil, owing without previous removal of TPH interpretation of the characteristics of the soils studied. The interpretation was based on the ranges indicated in NOM 021-2000 RICNAT. Soil with weathered oil, owing without previous removal of TPH alterations reported in soils contaminated with TPH, in southeastern Mexico. Also, many physical properties of soil are altered, such as water retention capacity. This is because when an oil spill occurs, hydrocarbons bit compete with water filling the pores. On the other hand, increasing the moisture content in the soil reduces the adsorption of liquid hydrocarbons in the organic matter and clay in the filling of the pores and capillaries. Alteration in the retaining moisture of soil The oil can form macroaggregates and macropores that increase water flow, and these changes inhibit the water retention in the soil which is moistened only after a long period of contact, so that the plants may suffer water stress and die. Formation of macroaggregates in soil with 12,155 mg.kg1 TPH weathered. Effects on plants. The results indicated that the lower height and root length were found in soil with 79,457 mg.kg1 of weathered oil, this can be explained because of the limited development of these. Both legumes formed less biomass in soils with higher concentrations of oil, which was associated with lower production of biomass in leaves and stems, as a result of the presence of the contaminant in the soil, Table 4 and 5, which limits the entry of water to the plant. However, the hydrophobic effect also affects the early stages of germination as evidenced with a delay of up to 5 days in the emergency, even in high concentrations of TPH, germination may be inhibited completely. Some authors found that exposure to concentrations of 2,791, 9,025 and 79 plus 457 mg.kg1 of petroleum hydrocarbons in soil inhibited the vegetative growth and reduced plant biomass in seedlings of Echinochloa polystachia, Brachiaria muticon sapiris sb. Others establish increased toxicity on the dry weight of rice seedlings, Oryza sativa, after 25 days of exposure to 90,000 mg.kg1 weathered oil. Biomass reduction is possibly due to widespread damage, which begins in the root system, hindering vegetative growth and therefore the accumulation of plant biomass. However, the first studies mentions that at low concentrations, oil could stimulate vegetative growth. Crotillaria incana seedlings did not form nodules in soil contaminated with 79,457 mg.kg1 of weathered oil after 30 days of exposure to oil. These results were similar to those obtained according to, who found that nodulation was completely inhibited in crotillariasp. And mimosa pigrabi concentrations above 50,000 mg.kg1. In both plant species, growth decreased with higher concentration of hydrocarbons in soil. Table 5 and 6. This response may be related to decreased water absorption through the roots for the presence of the hydrophobic film formed by the oil added to the soil. The lack of water absorbed decreases cell turgor, reduces or inhibits the processes of incorporation of nutrients and also affects vegetative growth. Water stress is related to the water potential gradient, which depends on the conditions present in the soil, and the membrane permeability to water, which depends on the species therefore. Lucina leucocephala shown to be more tolerant to water deficit. Response of Crotillaria incana seedlings to 30 days of weathered oil exposure. Values with different letter are statistically different. Tukey, P equals 0.05 response of Lucina leucocephala seedlings to 30 days of weathered oil exposure. Values with different letter are statistically different. Tukey, 
P equals 0.05 criteria in canna plants showed a greater effect on biomass in response with exposure to the weathered oil, which may be related to increased toxicity of recalcitrant compounds. There are also some soil properties which allow the adsorption of pollutants. Clay soils with high organic content and low pH may favor the persistence of toxic substances in the soil for a long time after the oil spill occurred, due to the adhesiveness of organic matter. Furthermore, fine texture allows the oil form a coarse structure on the outside and around the conglomerate making it waterproof, this has effects on root development, growth, and as a result will cause decrease in the accumulation biomass. On the other hand, Soil contamination by hydrocarbons can also modify some characteristics such as texture, bulk density, ratio of the particle size of the soil, reducing aeration and affecting the productive development of plants. Toxicity on Lucina leucocephala seedlings with a 150mg.kg 1 year B 79,457 milligrams.kg 1 TPH weathered and plants with C150mg.kg1 year D 79,457 milligrams.kg1 TPH weathered. Response of crotal area in Canada 150 days of weathered oil exposure. Values with different letter are statistically different, Tukey, P equals 0.05 response of Lucina leucocephalato 240 days of weathered oil exposure. Values with different letter are statistically different, Tukey, P equals 0.05.